it's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm gonna be snickering you tonight. I'm famed for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm gonna be snickering you, snickering you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jim Davidson. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, <laughs> I'm all buttoned up. How are you? All right. Have you noticed everyone's doing panto? They are. Even the sportsmen, the big stars, everyone's doing panto. I mean, look at me, I'm playing naughty buttons. Julian Cleary, he's playing fancy buttons. Oliver Reed playing tight buttons. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Richard Branson's playing fly buttons, and Frank Bruno's playing whoever he wants to, really. <laughs> For as long as he wants to. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we're all pantoed up, including my Prince Charming of a partner, the Arnold Schwarzenegger of snooker, Mr. Macho Man himself. Will you please welcome Mr. John Virgil. <laughs> Good evening. Well, where's the things, then? Well, Cinderella will have the balls. <laughs> oh, 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 who have you come as, then? Mother Goose. Of course you have. Oh, you're never going to get Goose like that, though, are you? The foreign wardrobe's not too sure. Do you mind? This is a family show. Anyway, Jim, get on with it, because I'm not used to dressing like this, and this girdle's absolutely killing me. <laughs> we came to work like this this morning. This is the thing that gets me. Ladies and gentlemen, a very lovely lady and a great friend of mine, Miss Linda Lusardi. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Linda. Well, who are you? I'm Snow White. And you're playing Snow White where? At Newcastle Theatre Royal. Christmas. Now, what would you like in your Christmas stocking? If you could pick anything, you know, anything. Oh, Jim, I'd love to have you. <laughs> Ladies you're and married and so am I. <laughs> this is not reality. This is panto. <laughs> Um, have a pick, have a pick. Oh, yeah, I'll pick, it's easy. John, who is represented by a yellow ball? Well, Linda, that's a great choice. The whirlwind himself, Jimmy White! Yeah. Glad to see Jimmy White got here without going wrong today. I'll explain this later on, ladies and gentlemen. Our yellow team, Snow White and Jimmy White. Give him a nice clap, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Good luck. Ask you. Before we plod on, if you win tonight, because it's all for charity, what charity is it going to be, Linda? Um, it's for the Curlin Foundation, which is for brain damaged children. It's a good cause. It Smashing. is. And it's all for charity tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have an extra cheer as the old snooker players are making fools of themselves. <laughs> we'll cheer them on. Talking of fools, here's a person who is, I think, one of the greatest clowns, greatest comedians I've ever had the pleasure to work with. His name is Charlie Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. I'm not going to ask what monks wear under there because I think this could be dangerous. How are you, Charlie? I'm well, James. How are you good? How are you good? It's nice to see you, mate. Now, what would you like in your stocking for Christmas? Linda's leg. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you. Have you watched this show before? Yes, I have. Good. Yes, I have. I've watched all your shows. Thank you. And I, I admire you tremendously. I... <laughs> And I, I've watched you when you were in New Faces. Oh, thank and, you. And I, I've admired you tremendously all over the years. Yes, well... And I, and I thought... <laughs> thank, and thank I thought you. to myself, one day, he'll break through. Oh, oh yes. Uh, thank you and very much. Yeah, yes, thank you. Your work. Yes, you'll win. You'll win. Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Drake, dig your hand in there, Charlie Drake. Dig your hand in. Pardon? Grab a ball, mate. No, no, in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have trouble. <laughs> You've got a good chance of winning. John, who is represented by a blue snooker ball? Well, it's a pleasure to welcome in here from Scotland, the wonder band himself, Stephen Hendry. Oh, Stephen Hendry! <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah, it's okay. Now, Charlie, who's the charity going to be for tonight? What's the charity? Uh, 
the Sharon Allen Leukemia Trust. Oh, that's wonderful. Sharon Allen Leukemia Trust, our blue team. Stephen, okay. Charlie. Right, Steve, and now a lady I've been dying to meet for a long while. Fantastic actress, Jean Alexander. Well, very godmother. Indeed. Very god What else? Long time right since there. I played one of these. Now, you're a snooker fan, aren't you? Yes, indeed, I am. Do you manage to play? No, no. You don't? No, I've never managed to play. Well, let's see what we've got left here tonight. You might pick up a few tips. Never know. Get a lesson. Wave your magic wand. Who have we got on the red ball for Jean, John? Well, Jim, this guy who's coming on next ruled snooker in the 80s, which is why people like me now dress up like this. <laughs> Six times world champion, Steve Davis. Oh. Oh. Tell the people where you went today. Go on. Teddington Studios. <laughs> Which is the other side, the other channel. Then where did you go? We programmed our telly roll. I got one and three mixed up on the television. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you don't mix up tonight. If you go wrong, Gene's going to wave the old magic one. Now, Gene, what charity is it going to be tonight? RSPCA. Oh, that's a great charity. <laughs> our red team, Gene and Steve, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> great stuff. Now then, let's play our first game. It's called Red Hot. <laughs> Right, here we go. Now, each contestant, three questions each, each correct answer, ten seconds of playing time for their partner, right? Now, I'm going to give you ten seconds each free, OK? Because, you know, it's a bit Christmassy and a little bit, you know, people have been running around various studios all day. <laughs> tired and that, you know. OK, the first one's for you. Snow White. Are you in a good mood? Yeah, I've been feeling happy all day. Uh, hello, happy. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> OK, then. Linda, according to the rhyme, in the 12 days of Christmas, how many partridges were in a pear tree? Oh. <laughs> One. Correct. One. Ten seconds. Oh. That's it. Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Small round red fruit found on an olive tree and to put a body underground. Oh. <laughs> Berry. Yeah, as in Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds. Now, you can get a round of applause if you get this one, won't she? Yes. Prior to this year, who was the youngest man to win an amateur snooker world title? And you can confer. Him. Him! It was him! <laughs> yeah. You've got 40 seconds. Jimmy White, take the table. Oh, now, old Virgo there. We'll explain the complicated rules of this first game for you, Jimmy. You've got to pot as many balls as you can. <laughs> You've got the maximum time, but the clock will not start until you broke the reds. I'd ask you to make your break. <laughs> and the clock will start ticking the next time you strike the ball. His voice has gone funny, you know, it's the frock. <laughs> One. Go on, Jimmy. Two. I'll have a look at her running about. <laughs> Three. Don't look up, Jim. <laughs> Don't look at him. Four. Oh, good shot. <laughs> good, Jim. Good, Jim. Oh, Five. Good shot, Jimmy boy. Good. Still ten seconds to go. Six. Six. Good score, this, you know. Yeah, nice run. One second. Jimmy White scores six. Six. Right, OK, then. Charles, your first question. According to the rhyme, who sat in a corner eating a Christmas pear? Jack. Correct. <laughs> Little Jack Orner. Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Telly Addicts presenter's Christmassy first name... And someone who has knowledge of a lot of things might be accused of this. So, the bloke who presents telly addicts is... Noel. Noel. That was you the answer to the that, second you? question. You told him that, so you can get extra time so you can get more balls in than four. <laughs> All right, you can have that one. Who was the first winner 
of BBC TV's Pop Black competition. And you can confer. Oh, that's good. Who is it? I wasn't even born. You're confirmed. <laughs> Do you, would you like a clue? Shall we give them a clue? Yes! Do the impression. <laughs> Ray Reardon. <laughs> it's Ray Reardon. Ray Reardon! Ray Reardon. <laughs> now, are you trying to tell us that Ray Reardon dresses up like this as well? <laughs> You've got 40 seconds. Steve, take the table. All right, Stephen. To be certain of being in the next round, you've got to beat six. But you've got the maximum time. I'm going to ask you to make your break. And that clock will start ticking the next time you strike the cue ball. Rest, please, John. <laughs> <laughs> One. Two. Of course, Your family, in Steve. <laughs> Three. Four. Good stuff, this. Five. Oh. You've won Ten the speed seconds ball. to go. Fantastic. <laughs> Six. Okay, Jean, eyes down. Three I don't questions. Like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> Here's your first question. How far is it from Teddington Studios to Shepperton? <laughs> as long as it takes Steve Davis to get from there to here. Correct. Ten seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. We'll give you ten seconds for that one. Okay. Took longer than that. Sorry. <laughs> Second question. Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? People eating too much this Christmas will add inches to this and will throw food away creating this. Right? Yeah. You'll put inches on it and if you throw it away, it is it. Waste. Waste. Correct. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who was the youngest man to win a professional snooker? world title and only score four on big break young stephen hendry right maximum points steve davis please take the table <laughs> the one okay steve to be certain of being in the next round you've got to beat six so i'm sorry to say this but it should be very interesting <laughs> um, <laughs> we'd ask you to make your break But you've got the maximum time. <laughs> and the clock won't start until you hit the cue ball. How long have I got? Well, you can take as long as you like. This programme runs for about half an hour, you know. So. <laughs> Terry Griffiths took ten minutes over his place. We didn't mind because uh, they fill it in, you know. Foul strokes are allowed, aren't they? Yes, you can play a foul stroke. OK. Oh, I touched it. No, I didn't. OK. <laughs> Okay, you strike the cue ball. You got the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Oh, no. <laughs> After all that, still none. <laughs> One. Oh. Come on, Steve. I was on a side into nothing from the start, I think. Steve Davis scores one. Whoa. A terrible start, I think. Chris Steve. 
embarrassed to score Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was start. very close. I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> it's two sixes are the winners, and Steve, you scored one. Hey! Now, I'd like to congratulate you for not being the worst snooker player we've ever had. <laughs> Steve Davis, you haven't lost anything, really. Come down, Steve and Jean, come and join me down here. Little consolation prize. Great fun. Here we are. Well done, Steve. This way, please. Here we go, Godmother. Come up onto the podium. We have a little surprise. Well, it's not actually a surprise. You've got a chance now to win a consolation prize for the old uh, charity. Enjoy it. It's hard, that, isn't it, eh? I got off to a terrible start. Yeah, I know, yeah. The Teddington. Balls. Teddington. Oh, no, Teddington. Teddington. <laughs> I've got seven at Teddington. You actually played yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. Listen, you've still lost. Steve, thanks for coming along. You've been a great sport. Steve Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Jean, stay with us now. What are we going to do? We're going to set the table up and we're going to try one of Mr. Virgo's funny old trick shots. <laughs> right, this is where we give you a chance to win a, a, a little prize for charity. John set up one of his trick shots. I don't know how he's going to do it in that frock. <laughs> but uh, all you've got to do is repeat what John does and uh, you've won. Go on, John, take it away. OK, Gene. Well, this is the shot. He's mincing. Look, he's got the funny boot. <laughs> What we'd like you to do is to pot the black in the middle pocket. Mm -hmm. And it works something like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very, very simple. That's a new one, that. OK, all you've got to do is then you do this and you win this wonderful prize for charity. Well, Jim, today's special Christmas consolation trick shot prize is £150. I tell you what, this is going to be easy. Where you go, John will look after you. I'll even line the shot up for you with my the magic wand. Make those reds move. I'll take the, okay. the wand. You have the cue. Thank you. Oh, Mind your frock. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Brilliant. Right, now, now roll it line. towards the black. There you go. It's coming. Oh, hey! 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 Well done, Jay. Well done, Jay. Don't love. Give it a kiss. Well done. That's 150 pounds for the RSPCA, and I'll tell you what, because you've been such a good sport, and he was such a rotten snooker player <laughs> on the night. <laughs> We'll double it up, won't we, John? We'll put oh, another 150 quid of our own money. And we'll get yeah, a fiver cool. off Steve Davis as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there we are, all the RSPCA. Thank you. Mm, Thank smashing. You. Dean Alexander. OK, join us now for pocket money. <laughs> OK, then, right, this is where we transfer the old set into this monumental piece of BBC engineering. Look at that. Go on, lads. Get it out. Get it out. OK, let's join down the front and we'll see who's going to go first. This is where we make lots of money for the old charity. John, if you've got a pocket, dip deep. There you go. Heads or tails? Um, I'll go for heads. Right. It's a head. It's a head. Would you like to go first or last? Um, it's up to you, Jimmy. I think we go first, then. Eh? First. first. OK, then. Take your seat, then, you little monk. <laughs> Perhaps to sit down again. Yes, off you go then. <laughs> Take him back to the home, Stephen. <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to do. One minute, 30 seconds, clear all those balls on the table. And if you miss a red, you get a question on potluck. Miss a blue, question on people. Anything up there you don't fancy, Linda? Um, past. You don't like the past? No. Ooh, yeah. something <laughs> sordid there, then. John. Will you explain the rules there to Jim while we get ready? OK, Jim, well, as you can see, we've got six reds and we've got the six colours. The numbers on them are value in pounds. For example, if you support the red, it's £10, yellow, £20 and so on. The blue, for example, if you pot it in the blue pocket, which is indicated on the screens at home, that would double up to £100. Ooh. So we'd ask you, please, to make your break. OK, Linda, if you don't know the answer, just say snookered and I'll ask you an easy I one. I say please. All right. OK, John. All right, Jim. Well, the clock will start when you strike the cue ball, but remember, if you miss a shot, you must wait for Jim to say, OK, play. OK, then. Best of luck.
Ten pound. Miss Black, who played the nun in The Sound of Music? Um, Julie Andrews. Correct, play. Miss Red. <clears throat> Is Nelson's column found in Piccadilly Circus or Trafalgar Square? Um, True. Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Brilliant play. <laughs> Ten pound. An easy seven to here over the pocket. It does it, moment. That makes a total of 90 pound. Be a good kiss. Yes, good. Perfect. Go on, Jimmy. That's a double blue, Jimmy, in that top pocket, if you want to. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. We've got plenty of time, Jimmy. Go on, Jim. Jim. Get him in, Jim. <laughs> Snow White calling. Wow. Blue, that's another £50. Pound. That makes a total of £150 so far. Go on, Jimmy. We love you, Jimmy. You're the best, Jim. <laughs> Don't put him this off. This red. Oh! Does June have 30 or 31 days? Yeah, 30. Correct play. Go on, Jimmy. Go on, Jimmy. <laughs> Miss Red. Oh, 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 oh. Was Oliver Twist written by Lionel Blart or Charles Dickens? Charles Dickens. Correct play. Go on, Jimmy. <laughs> Ten oh. Oh. Jimmy White scores 150 pounds. <laughs> Well, Stephen, Charlie, you come round with me. Stephen, down you go with John. Where you go, you've got 150 to beat. All yours, Virgo. OK, Stephen, you've got 150 pounds to beat, so we'd ask you to make your break. Ooh. OK, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> if you don't know the answer, Charlie, just hit me with that bit of rope. <laughs> Just say pass. Down to you, John. All right, Stephen. I don't care the what clock happens starts as long next as time. I Charlie stops talking and you hit the cue ball. <laughs> Here we go. Ten pound. Wow. And seventy. That's eighty pound. Go on, Steve. Go on, Steve. <laughs> Miss Red. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Is my... down. Did he not put it? <laughs> Is Monte Carlo found in... Oh, no, in... Steve! <laughs> in France or Monaco? Pardon? Play! What happened? Ten pound. <laughs> Miss Black. Oh! Is Kermit the Frog's nephew called Robert or Robin? Yes! <laughs> Ten pound. This to take the lead. £70. Pounds. Yeah. Makes a total of £170 pounds so far. Oh, Miss Red. Was Mount Everest conquered? Of course. <laughs> yes. And you did it, I know. Miss Red. Is John Major's wife called Barbara, Norma, or Mrs. Major? I don't care. I don't like it. <laughs> Ten pound. No. That's it. A double pink. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it's twenty pounds for the pink. <laughs> Stephen Henry scores three hundred pounds. Well done. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Get out of here. You're mad. You're mad. Our winner, Charlie Gray. <laughs> Stephen Henry, ladies and gentlemen, three hundred pounds. Well done, Steve. Well done. Well, Linda, you've got 150 pounds. Well done, Jimmy. Cheers, sir. Great display there of snooker, but he got beaten. See, old Charlie Drake throwing me. I couldn't get the answer. 150 pounds. Tell you what we'll do. John, you'll double that, won't you? Certainly we will, Jim. And Ooh. I'll double it after you've doubled it, so that's 600 pounds for your charity. Thank and well you done. Very it's good to much. see Thank people you. doing things well for charity. Well done. Well done. Cheers. Thanks Thank for coming. You. OK, stay with us now. We're going to play Make or Break. Break the balls up. Aye. This is very important. Oh. Is that good? I don't know, but it looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what we're going to do, one minute, 30 seconds, to sink all those balls there. And what, I'll ask Charlie five questions. When he gets them right, notice when he gets them right, you can remove five reds off the table. 
Okay? Sink the whole lot. Questions as well. One minute, 30 seconds. This is the prizes we can win for the Sharon Allen Leukemia Trust. Any reds left on the table tonight, Jim, and our lucky winner's chosen charity will receive £200. Pot the yellow and they will add another 400 Or if the green is cleared, the figure changes to £600. Down the brown and it climbs to 800 while with the blue gone, they hit the magic £1,000. Sink the pink and £1,200 is on its way. Potting the black for a total clearance means they will have hit the jackpot of £1,000. Five hundred pounds. Wow. Here we go. Right, five questions, Charlie. If you don't know the answers, make one up. I will. Oh will no, you? I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Here we go. Five questions. Yes. Time starts now. What colour was Rudolph the reindeer's nose? Red. Correct. What Christmas panto features a character called Buttons? Shiggy Red. Correct. What is Scrooge's first name? Fred. Correct. <laughs> name and. Who had more than one number one Christmas single? Name a person who had more than one Christmas single. Um, Chuck Winter. Correct. <laughs> Name one of the gifts given to Jesus by the three wise men. Murr. Correct. Stop the clock. <laughs> Murr. Come down. Come down, Charlie. Come on, mate. Right, you've got 61 seconds left. We've got, we got nearly five questions right-ish. Stay here, mate. Four and a half balls. You can remove five balls, yeah. All right, Stephen. No. Fred Scrooge. I like okay, that. Stephen. Well, I've known people have longer to do it. Uh, you've got one minute and one second to try and clear the table. Normal snooker rules apply. After you've potted the red, you must go for a colour, and then the colours in sequence. Obviously, we all wish you the best of luck, and the clock starts when you strike the cue ball. Good luck, Steve. Okie okay, dokie, skip. Well, bring the money already, Charlie. It's 150 quid. Try not to talk while he's doing it. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, good oh. shot. Great shot. Come on. Oh, brilliant shot. Tremendous. That's super. Oh, plenty of time, Stephen. You've got 30 seconds. Plenty of time. You got 25 seconds. Oh, that's a thousand quid already. 25 seconds. Oh, yes. come on. You've got plenty of time, Stephen. 15 yeah. seconds. Yeah! Come on, get that. Brilliant. 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 Oh, no. 1,500 quid plus 300. That's 1,800 pounds for the Sharon Allen Leukemia Trust. Well done. Brilliant. What a great finish. Well, thanks to Jean. Thanks to Steve. Thanks to Linda. Thanks to Jimmy. Charlie. Lovely to see you again, Charlie. You're a funny bloke. Stephen. And for old John Boy. Good night. Good night. We'll see you soon. Take care. All the best. Merry Christmas. What's left to me? It's only a